Hey guys, today I thought I'd show you how I make this Harry Styles inspired cardigan. This video is gonna be a little simpler than my other crochet tutorials. As you can see, I used different colors as well as different patterns to make this cardigan. I will show you how to make a square in one of the patterns, but it's mainly gonna be about how I put these squares together and how to do the border, puffs, and color as well. So like I said, I'll show you one of the patterns that's definitely enough to make this cardigan. If you guys would like a tutorial on how to do all the patterns, let me know in the comment section below and I'll show you how to do these patterns, okay? I think I used a 4 or 4.5mm uh, crochet hook to make the cardigan and I'll be using a 4.5mm hook in this video. First, we're gonna start with a slip knot. Chain 14. This is the side length of the square. Then we're going to chain one more. In the second stitch from the hook, make a single crochet. Insert our hook in that stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the two loops on the hook. In the next stitch, make a double crochet. We're going to yarn over first. Then insert our hook, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and yarn over, pull through the rest two on the hook. Next stitch, put a single crochet again. Next, a double crochet. So this is what we're going to do for the entire row. Alternate between a single crochet and a double crochet. Our last stitch should be a double crochet. To start the next row, chain 1. In the very first stitch here, work a single crochet. Then a double crochet. Repeat the same pattern.
Again, this row ends with a double crochet. Chain 1 and turn. Start the next row with a single crochet from the first stitch. So you're gonna work your way up until you have 12 rows in total or when it's formed a square, whichever comes first. Then chain 1 and cut. You can use this pattern to make different color squares and then you're gonna join them like this fold it in half along this line then from the wrong side sew up the sleeves and both sides of the cardigan for the collar i used double strands because i wanted it to be thicker and warmer around my neck but for this demonstration I'm gonna use just one strand, okay? So a slip knot. This length you see here is a chain of 18. Adjust it to your liking. So once you've reached the desired length, chain one more. From the second stitch, start working one single crochet in each chain. At the end of the row, chain 1 and turn. In the back loop of the first stitch, work a single crochet. Next stitch, back loop, a single crochet. So work one single crochet in every stitch, all in the back loop only. So this is what we're gonna do to make the collar and cuffs. I worked 66 rows for the collar, then I joined it with these three squares. I actually did it from the right side of the cardigan because I didn't put buttons for it. So when I wear it, this is the side that's gonna be visible to people. So in this case, we make sure the wrong side looks nice. For each cuff, I chained 15 as the foundation chain and then worked 26 rows. I always like my cuff to be tight, so I stopped as soon as it could fit around my wrist. Then I used slip stitch to join these two ends.
this is going to be the wrong side turn it over and this is the right side By now, your sleeves should be done already. From the wrong side, use slip stitch again to connect it to the cuff. I didn't use thick lines for the border, just one plain double crochet row here. We're gonna put roughly 14 double crochets for the side of each square. Finish the last one here. Then turn it this way, chain 2, and start putting double crochets from here. Do this for the entire border, all the way back to the other side. And then we're done! 